Okay, John Bon Jovi, we all know him. He's given us some epic love songs like Bed of Roses and Living on a Prayer. But in, in a new Access Hollywood interview, the hit maker says he's written a song for his daughter's special day that will become the ultimate wedding song of the next, get this, 100 years. Oh that is some God. tall claims. So it got us thinking, like, what makes a great wedding song? I don't know if it's John Bon Jovi. <laughs> Jovi, you don't want to live like, on a prayer? Oh my gosh, I'm just, like, just thinking about it. I do, like, I don't even know, for me personally, if I could walk down an aisle with uh, music with lyrics. There's something mm. about it I don't, I, unless we were trying to make everyone laugh, then it would be Marvin Gaye's sexual healing. Yeah. Like, obviously, like, <laughs> that would be that. Uh, amazing. But I think for me, it would have to be, like, a classical piece that meant a but lot the first to both dance? Yeah. What about the first dance? Well, here's the deal. I, okay, there's a part, there's a ratchet part of me that would love to hear some Uncle Luke. <laughs> eh, eh, get it. <laughs> <laughs> but in all honesty, my style of music, I like the classics, and by that I mean like Ella Fitzgerald, yeah. Duke Ellington, mm. and I already, yes, I don't have a husband, but I already have the song picked out. Don't worry. <laughs> the Very Thought of You by Tony Bennett. Oh my God. That song, oh. for me, it melts. It's oh. B-roll, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but just trust me, the song, when you have a chance, listen to this song. It's so beautiful, and I feel like that first dance, I want it to be like, oh. it's just the two of us in that room, no matter how many people are there. And that song, I could cry if I listened to that song yeah. any longer. It's oh, such a beautiful, beautiful song. So that's, it's, Uncle Luke is in the back of my mind, but, but it's Tony Bennett. Later on, baby, later yes. on. Later yeah, on, yeah. I'll give him yeah. that Uncle Luke. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, well, I, we danced to a band, like it was basically oh, like, you know, like a song that no one would know. Mm -hmm. But the one song that I constantly, if I'm ever at a wedding and I hear it, I will immediately burst into tears is Etta James at last. <gasps> to me, you yes. can't yes. go wrong. So I think everybody feels like it's just the most gorgeous song in the world. Yeah. But it can, has anyone been to a wedding where you've been like, why did they choose that way? Oh. Did they yes. did they listen to the lyrics yes. at all? I didn't I wasn't at this wedding, but someone I know, his wedding song was Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. In case you oh aren't familiar God. with this song, it was a very sexy video with Chris Isaac and uh, Helena, whatever her name is, model. Christensen. Christensen, and here are some yeah. of, uh, Christensen, here's some of the lyrics. What a wicked thing to say, you never felt this way. What a wicked thing to do to make me dream of you. I don't want to fall in love with you. <laughs> oh my god. Choose songs that they like without maybe paying attention mm, to the lyrics. Yeah. Like, it's you know, the melody. I always love you. Yeah. Do you know yeah. people choose that, and that's a, that's um, a breakup song. Oh, yeah. Sort of. Sort of. Yes. Uh, so I'm a closet Swifty. Uh, oh. so, <laughs> thank you. Yes. <laughs> And so Mel and I also started dating when the Lover album came out. And so that to me is, is probably, I know it's like in the top three songs right now for weddings. And is I'm like, really? it is. Yes. Uh, that and Elvis Presley, apparently. Oh my goodness. I Can't Help Falling in Love, which is a oh, great choice a as great well. Great right? one. Um, the only thing I'm, I'm not, don't think we're going to do a first dance, but the only thing that I really would like, I would rather die than do is mm -hmm. like the, uh, the flash mob, like break the song and be like, oh, the record stopped. And then they do a chorus. Okay, well then we're gonna cancel that because we're gonna surprise you with that. <laughs> no plan, no plan, no plan. Uh, Riley, so good to have you back. Congratulations on the back. We love you. Thank you so much for coming. All right, folks, we're coming up. Whether you're throwing an elaborate party or an intimate affair, what are the biggest wedding trends for 2024? Well, we've got what every couple needs to know. That's in just three minutes. Stay with us. <laughs> What did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.